here we are in uh, in uh, near Sugar Hill. Phenomenal crop circle. We absolutely love this one. That's the last one we'll be filming from this season, and it's just phenomenal. Um, when we were checking, like you know, I had all the indications, like checked, like who, who is it made? You know, like the angelic realms, uh, the master realms, the elemental realms, Mother Earth, celestials, all these types of things. Came up really with with, with not a lot at all. Um, and then I sort of sat down, and 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 it ends up this crop circle was made made by the Grand Central Sun, which is a phenomenal, which is an absolutely phenomenal thing. Never really had a had a crop circle made by that before. Numerology wise, it's uh, number nines just floated, floated, floating all over, all over, all over the. This I'll whole just tell you, I was just circle. talking to them about the Grand Central Sun just now. Really? Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't even know you were going to say that. But go this on, is. carry on. So <laughs> the, the first one, at the, the middle of the crop circle, which is what is that? It's eleven, eleven um, six-sided. What are they? Hentagons. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So this has to do with the channeling of, of ninth dimensional energy to the central sun, to, down to the, to the middle of this, which is dealing with the changing of water on a three-dimensional basis. So all the water on Mother Earth, whether whether in her seas, whether in your bottles, whether in your bath, is dealing with the changing of the third-dimensional level of that, mainly just channeling down uh, unconditional love to that. The outer, the outer part of this, which is the series of triangles, easy water, have, eh? Yeah, easy we have, water. We have, <laughs> we have we have four rows of triangles, thirty-six in each one. Again, no, no, number nine's popping up all over the place, as well as a grand number of one hundred and forty-four. Now, what this has to deal with is the twelve pathways of of life and of destiny, which each of us have. Six being masculine six being feminine and this has to do with the channeling again of ninth dimensional energies coming down and and channeling more energy into everyone's 12 pathways six masculine six feminine so in coming into this crop circle you are really elevating your awareness of the 12 pathways which you walk through your life and this is a phenomenal crop circle ties in with that that tachyon video we just made yeah, as tachyon, well video, there was channelings coming down about uh, about your 12 pathways which you are choosing uh, and yeah numerology wise number nines just pop up all the time in this you add up numbers you add up number numbers nine, nine, nine that's nine, why we nine. came on the nine all nines all nines yeah are we on the nine yes, the nine that's why I wanted to come on yeah. the nine I knew there was yeah. a reason for coming on yeah. the nine coming on the nine so uh, yeah lovely crop circle for us to end on yeah love it good one Matt lovely one yeah That's probably one of the nicest weaves I've ever seen in a crop circle. Look at the way it just curves. It curves like into a point. Just curves, isn't it? It all curves. Very nicely. Okay, so here we are in the centre of it, which is to deal with the water. Now this is the platonic and elemental shape of water. It also seems to be a three-dimensional cube which is to de dealing with the foundation and the three-dimensional sense of the water. And here the six-pointed star to deal with the vibrational spin which is going to take place within the water from the channeled energy. It's also the heart chakra which is love and it's also to deal with the ninth dimension which is unconditional love. Here we have 18 cubes here, you know, one plus eight is equals nine. Here we are on the outer ring which is to do with the um, 12 pathways, six being masculine, six being feminine. Uh, each of these containing 36 triangles, 3 plus 6 again is 9. We have 4 of these, so 36 plus 36 plus 36 plus 36 equals the 144, which again equals 9, and that's to do with 144 different pathways and aspects which we will walk in life. Um, so number 9 numerically reappears and keeps reappearing all over this crop circle. I'm sure there's more mathematical proportions that you could add in and take away to also get the number 9 which is the primary dimension of energy which is being channeled through this crop circle.
So the um, foundational levels that are being dealt with, with the transmutation which is going on from the ninth dimension within the middle of the crop circle, uh, we're going to see like the natural water of Mother Earth, of Mother Earth increasing, just like the natural transmutational state that takes place within your human body also takes place to Mother Earth. So physically, she's starting to to evolve dimensionally, and this is something that will be happening within our physical body as, a, as it starts to vibrate higher and this of course water being a very important part of our natural physical body just as we have natural parts of our physical body part of her physical, physical body is, is the water this will start to change now this water as well is obviously we're 75% water and her vibrational rate of her physical change of her water will then start to affect us like affects like, this is the way it's happening, and the whole combined um, mass, weight, just, just, just natural energy and, and the amount of water Mother Earth has on her planet is strong enough to help that vibration within us, naturally. Now, it's up to you, free will, it's your choice whether you can either accept this natural change within your physical makeup or not to. It's, that's a choice that everyone will make, that energy it's naturally being resonated now and whether or not it affects you is that's your free will that's your choice but then you'll start to see as well that being a physical change within ascension and those certain degrees would have been met mother earth will be vibrating at a higher degree and so will you be vibrating at a higher degree now mother earth is obviously going through her ascension and so you're starting to physically move with that it's left people, if their free will is completely fine for them to re reject anything. It's fair enough in life for you to reject anything. It's free will. It's, it's, it's the law of the cosmos. And so that has to be respected. Whether your mother earth, another person, has to be respected. And so that will, you'll, that's the proportional change that will be naturally occurring within ascension. And these are sort of some of the sort of early physical effects that you could, you could not necessarily see with the naked eye but are, you know, naturally, physically happening all the same. And this will only start to increase. Couldn't say with what things, couldn't say with more things, but um, as Mother Earth's vibrations increase and those that choose to increase, you know, that's part of the whole change.